Hey everybody, Rubicon here with Total War Three Kingdoms, the World Betrayed DLC. Thank you so much to everybody. You guys rocked the White Tiger premiere. Here we are with episode two. Again, this one's gonna be on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday moving forward. Uh, this is a really fun character to play. So first and foremost, thank you so much to Creative Assembly for the early access. And if you didn't see episode one, you can uh, find the playlist on the channel. And if you want to know when new episodes come out moving forward, click on the logo right here in the bottom right hand corner. That'll be the easiest way to know when new episodes come out. So where we left things off, we are attacking the Yellow Turban Rebellion. We're trying to take their uh, city over here. And where we're going to look at this is we have the rice paddy under control. Once we take the town, then we can also move forward with coming back up here since Sun Tzu has got an army over here. Ooh, he's got a little crossbow artillery going there. And since he's coming down, we are at war with him. We have a little bit of a buffer uh, with our coalition member Liu Yao right here, but we need to wrap this up and scurry on back up. So we are gonna jump in and fight it right away. It is a, it will be a Pyrrhic victory according to this. It's Yellow Turban. We've kind of got them boxed in. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to bombard them pretty heavily. And then we're gonna move in with our troops after that. So we'll get loaded here. Once again, thank you so much to Creative Assembly for giving me the early access to show you all the DLC. I've really liked it so far, and it's a lot of fun. And just as a reminder, the White Tiger, uh, Yan Behu, and I believe I'm saying that correctly again, I haven't gotten any corrections on it. So if I am saying it incorrectly, please let me know. I want to make sure I am pronouncing everything as correctly as possible with my North American accent. Uh, but he is the White Tiger is the uh, FLC, the Free Lord, as part of this DLC. So you'll definitely get a chance to uh, play him um, coming up in the DLC. So definitely worth a look. All right, so we want to get our trebuchet set up here. We'll get our cross, our archers all together as well. I think some of them. None of them. Okay, none of them. None of them have. None of them have any uh, flaming arrow abilities yet. So we'll just take them out. Fun thing about the uh, the White Tiger Raiders, they can actually form spear wall, because if you look at their uh, their little unit makeup here, they've got some. They've got a shield and a spear on their backs. So they can also double as a melee unit. And it's actually not terrible. Their armor is not that fantastic, but they do have 27 melee damage for armor piercing. Just a base of eight, but that's pretty good armor piercing damage. And they do get a pretty good charge bonus too. So their armor though, uh, 2% for their shield and 7% base. So they, if they go up against an armored unit, they are going to get cut like butter but they can hold their own against some other skirmishers. All right, so let's get, let's get our spearmen. Oops, we somehow forgot one. Let's get our spearmen over here. And then let's see, we've got our bandit warriors. You stay in reserve just in case we need you on either side, just in case they decide to come charging out at us. And then you guys are going to be the bad boys on the side. Causing trouble. You go here. You go here. And then you go in the middle. He does not have Wisdom of the River yet, so he's not as helpful at this point. Alright, so, and you do not be on fire at will. Let's see where they all go. Okay. Oh crap, they're coming out. Fire on them. Uh, you can go ahead and kill him. Yeah. 
Go ahead and fire your little poison stuff at them. Alright, yeah, don't worry about firing at the... Alright, you guys come over the flanks. You can go ahead and engage them. Oh, they were hiding! That's awesome! Whoa, no, 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 no. What are you guys doing? Stop, stop, stop. Guard mode. You want to be careful and avoid the towers. Oh, they can't see them. That's awesome. Fire on the archers. Keep firing there. Fire at the area. Kill yourself, bro. Excellent. All right, I need you back on your horse. I need you coming in here. Go there. Take him out. Hit them from the side. I'm not sure why the crossbowman got over there. Shoot at them, please. Oh, no, nope, don't leave them alone. Keep chasing them. Go after them. Keep charging at them. Get back. All right, they're mostly breaking now. Yeah. Charge them, please. Excellent, they're running. Chase after them. Get in after them. All right, archers are out of ammo. That's fine. Uh, go ahead and chase after them. We don't want them to come back. Oh, he's about to break. Where are you? Oh, you're over there. Uh, you come over here. Come over here. You come deal with them. You guys go after them. Charge at the archers, please. Fire your little special arrows at them, please. We can break them, we'll win this. Come on, break them, break them. Ah, they came back. Let's 
start healing yourself. Go after them. Go after them, please. Go after them. Take them out. Alright, come on, White Tiger. Get in there. Alright, they're running. If we can get them to break... That should be it. Might have been a Pyrrhic victory, I'm not entirely sure. We did lose some troops, yeah. Hopefully we just didn't lose as many as if we would have done the auto-resolve. That is the trick. How many men did we lose? Eh, a little too many for my liking. These guys got hammered. That was a big chunk of it. These guys did not do that well either. Uh, we know nothing about you, but we want your money. Uh, I could do gift to the mercenary lord, so that would increase my fame and fortune. It would give me a lot of money and a lot of loot, but then that would also mean I don't own the full commandery, so we're going to just occupy it. Oh, and he died. Wait, he was just running away. How did he die? That's unfortunate. Um... Yeah, you come in. All right, so now we have to hone our talent as well as your forces in your realm. You too must grow stronger. Forge on, fight harder and grow wiser if you wish to not only defeat your enemies, but also teach them to try to seize your lands as the ultimate folly. We have to reach Raider in 25 turns, okay? That's weird, he was just running. I didn't realize he was dead. Um, let's see, so we want money, so let's build that. And then for now, you can go away. Because we have to keep an eye on him. On Sun Tzu. Oh, we have an officer. I think we already... Oh no, yeah. We can give it to him. What else did we get? A clay pig. Great skinned. Oh, well, he died, so. Wait, he's a pacifist? Really? Okay. Alright. So we need to get to Raider, which we're pretty well on our way. And we can have another underling, except we don't have anybody at the moment. So right now we have the White Tiger Bond, which helps us with recruitment cost. And we've got some pretty good morale boosts there. So let's keep an eye on Sun Tzu. We're upgrading the lumber yard. But that'll be done one turn. We need some more money. He might want peace. I become his vassal. <laughs> no. Uh-uh. Not gonna happen. Alright. So, they're recovering. We're gonna build that. Let's go... Who likes me the most? You do. Let's... Where are you, though? You have some money. Was in. I don't think I can have. Can I get military access with you? I have to pay you though. I don't want to give money at the moment. Um, let's go. Oh, he's up here. I just haven't found him yet. 
Uh, let's see. You want a clay pig? Fine. I'm not using it, so... We're trying to... get more money. We could push this through. Plus 1,500. We'll make 100 more. We'll do that just to get the building moving faster. Boost our income a little bit. Not a ton. But we will end our turn now. Yeah. No. He's gonna he's gonna come marching in now, isn't he? Oh no, he's just gonna he's just gonna take the port. Okay, dog. It wasn't mine, so. You do you. The question becomes, how greedy do we get? The Emperor has escaped. On Empire. Anything. Ah, uh, fortified camp, nice. Okay, we're a little short on cash at the moment. I mean, because how far away are we now? If he marches on us, it would take us four turns to get back there in normal stance. And I, it'll take me four turns to get there. So it's really not that productive to go that way. <sighs> We're going to have to come deal with Sunset eventually, so... Uh, this is a tricky choice. I would be greedy, but if we start going that way and then he adjusts, it's gonna be not pretty. So we're gonna we're gonna be looting. Faction support sucks. That's funny. Um, I'm aware. I don't have anything else I can sell, do I? I only have two trade agreements available. Okay, actually, here, we'll sell this. We'll sell, uh, military access agreements. He's, he's not gonna... Okay, so you don't get one. But where are my... Uh, where are his vassals? Oh, you don't want one. That's alright. Okay. So we can start making more money. Tribute all. Um, I'd love to get some walls here. That would be beyond peachy. I need 1600 more though. Who likes me the most and who has that much money? You do. I want... I want 1600 gold from you. That'll take some doing. Give you that. Ah. It's not what I need. Even if it's like, yeah, if it's one sum. Because if I gave you all my food, it's not going to do anything. So let's go there, and then I'll make payments. Oh wait, that's money. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's work. That, that's fine.
Are you kidding me? I'm 22 short. Ugh. That's frustrating. Sao Sao. Uh, that's hilarious. At least get more money out of you. I know we're kind of mortgaging our future here. But we can always break our agreements if we have to. Getting getting the city built and adding walls is more important. Even if we have to jerk it around a little bit. We will f declare war on Yang Feng on behalf of Cao Cao. Remind me who this is. Yang Feng. Um. Cancel. Uh, you're gonna give me way more than that. Oh, wait, I didn't I need to demand. I need to get my income back up, buddy. I'm a mercenary after all. Of course I'll fight for fight for money. Sao Sao with his proxy wars. Perfect. Oh, here it comes. Okay, so proxy war, that's fine. Impactful argument, lovely, glad we're all getting along great. Alright, so... We need to head here. And we also... Need to get... If any other... Yeah, that's gonna send us negative. We can survive for a couple of turns. Can we convert... I need to, I just need the trebuchets back. That's primarily what we're doing here. And then that will help us mitigate. Ah, uh, yeah, I was worried about that. We had to leave before we got everything secured. Um. Is that, that's gonna send us bankrupt, isn't it? Just barely. Okay. Ooh, we got an overseer. That's somebody else think something else we can tell. Not somebody, that sounds wrong. That's something else we can sell. A52 works for me. And let's see, you are where are you? I need to find my ownership. This is me. Where are you? Can I not see you on the map yet? Because Zhu Gong is right here. Sun Tzu is right there. Liu Yao is right here. Yeah, he doesn't want to do it. It's fine. Hua Jin, trusting... Han Empire. I think I'm technically at war with you. Yeah, I'm at war with the Han because of the proxy. Wang Zhu. Let's talk to you. That won't matter. Liu Biao is up here. He actually could be a good ally. Yeah, Liu Biao doesn't want it. Uh, just he. Okay. Well, we'll come back to all that later. Let's 
so we're replenishing. They'll be ready. We gotta get some, uh... We have to get some... Replenishment back. If we go normal, though... We're not spending that money, though. We should actually... Actually, wait. No, we can. Um... That only increases by 20. We can do land development. Uh, let's do land. Let's do this. Because that will get us more food and then also increase our peasantry costs. Could have built a town, too, with walls. How long would that take? Take 2,000. Yeah, we're not going to last very long on that. So we're going to have to go land development, which is fine. All right. So you go there, we end our turn. Yeah, he's just rocking through all that. What I think we're going to do is we're going to set up an ambush right outside of the... Uh, cooperate. No, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. All right. Sao Sao offers us peace on behalf. <laughs> You're funny. Yes, I will take your peace. That the war they got paid to do, and I never actually fought anybody. That's the best kind of mercenary work. All right, peace treaty. Okay. Oh, you got the emperor. That's why. All right. So you move to here. And I can't actually get any closer. If I switch to loot, doesn't really do much for me, does it? Alright, so Rebellion. We're gonna need money here shortly. We can survive one more turn. We can survive one more turn, and if Sunsa comes after us right now our balance of power is pretty even because he mostly has he'll be the problem but the rest of these guys are nothing to write home about necessarily i'm hoping he makes a move on that let's see though can i i can't do a trade agreement with anybody else though i could peace out with you though but i can't i can't ask for money from them that's the thing that sucks Although he actually really wants peace for some reason. Why does he want peace so bad? I'm not sure. But... I'll actually take it. Because what that means I can do is you can go bye-bye again. That gets me back in the green. And then we come this way to start to keep uh, fighting with our mercenary contracts. So that actually works pretty well for all involved. Go ahead and finish that. And then let's start building this because we do, we do have some money from, eh, not as much. Let's boost the peasantry income and the production. So, what we will do is we will end our turn and then we'll start moving back against the Yellow Turban Rebellion because that's actually better for us. The only thing that sucks is Sun Sir got really deep into territory. He's going to go for the rest of our coalition, but he's got a foothold. But he could also become a powerful ally. Oh, gosh. If I agree to this, I'm going <sighs> to... That's all he has left, though, isn't it? No, he's got one more. Ah, fine. 
That's ten turns. I don't want to. I don't want to lose him. So, what we can actually do is head to here, and then we'll recover just a little bit. Can we transition any of these troops? Not to anything better. I mean, which one is better? Let's compare them. These are the 113. All right, I mean, they're not terrible. All right. Yeah, there's not much we can do at the moment with them. Bandit Hunters, though, they're a different story. Because they are a lot weaker. So let's actually sw swap them, though. The thing that sucks is we don't have any cavalry. But now we do. So we'll have a little bit of cavalry. I don't like not having the trebuchets, but we can we can make it work with our air support. So we will end the episode right here. We could also possibly sell that. We'll end the episode right here. While he's going for down here and distracted, what we're going to do is we're gonna take the copper mine, then we're gonna try to cut him off, take out the smaller army up here, take his holdings up here, and then cut him off and just divide and conquer. So for now, this is Rubicon signing out. Again, don't forget, if you want to know when the next episode in the series comes out, just click on the logo right here in the bottom right-hand corner. It does come out Monday, Wednesday, Friday, so keep an eye out for that. So definitely, hopefully you enjoyed it. If you have any comments, suggestions, anything you've noticed, leave it in the comments section below. I always appreciate to read those things. And again, thank you to Creative Assembly for giving me early access in the first place. Signing out, we'll see you all later. Have a great day, everybody.